Hi, I have had this car 5 volts adapter for 7 or 8 years now, and it just stopped working. I used this power adapter to power my dash cam. I had to cut a cable from the bottom because originally I thought the wiring must have been damaged, but after cutting it you can see it looks just fine. Anyway, let me show you the symptom here. Let me power it up with my bench power supply and I will show you. So let's power it up here. And it's going to be a little bit difficult here. Maybe I'll just hold it. You can see we have the light lighting up back here, but the output voltage is actually incorrect. So let me show you. Here I have the meter. And the output. So clearly, as you can see, it's not working correctly as it's supposed to output 5 volts, but right now it's outputting just 1. So I'm curious to see what the failure mode is. Let's actually open it up and investigate more. Alright, I just disassembled the adapter, and I can already spot a problem. Can you spot it? Let me zoom it in. And you can see here that's a capacitor. Of course, it had blown. And clearly it's not going to work with a capacitor like this. So that is the output capacitor. And let's actually take a look at what this circuit is. The 8-pin chip used here is an HX1364A, which is a synchronous bug converter. And if you look at the circuit diagram here, it's actually fairly simple. These R2 and R3, these two resistors, set the output voltage, and then we have an inductor and a few other components. And that's it. And if you look at it here, we have a 470 microfarads capacitor that is at the output. And this one, I believe, was the one that we saw was blown. Now, obviously, there could be multiple reasons why that capacitor was blown. It could be because of the chip was faulty, or simply because the capacitor has some issues. So I'm hoping the latter was the case, because we can replace the capacitor, and hopefully the circuit will be working again. So let me give that a try. And for this repair, I'm going to use my Miniware TS1C cordless soldering iron, and give it a try. So let's see... Yep. Well, I had to do this off camera because the camera setup just makes soldering very difficult here. Anyway, I have soldered in a replacement capacitor. As you can see, this is a new one now. And that's a 10 volts, 470 microfarads capacitor. And I had soldered it in. So now let's give it a go. Do be careful not to short the input here. And it looks promising as we have a light here. Of course, we had this light before. And by the way, let me show you what the capacitor was like. And here it is. You can see that was totally blown. Anyway, let's take a look at the output voltage here. Yeah. You can see that it is 5.2 volts now. So it appears, indeed, the culprit was that output capacitor. Now let's actually put a load on it, and just to make sure that it's actually working. And you can see that right now we're outputting about 500 milliamps. The voltage did increase to 5.6 volts, and I'm not sure what it was before, but these kind of adapters are a little bit lousy in this regard, and sometimes it does overcompensate the output when there is a current draw. So that's really just the fundamental of this kind of a circuitry, rather than this repair. So again, this is just another instance of a passkey capacitor that caused the circuit to fail. The overall build quality of this adapter is not really that great. If you take a look at this inductor here, you will see that there's nothing tying it down. It is literally just flopping around here. And this could cause some long-term reliability issues. Remember, this is a car adapter. It is actually mounted in a moving vehicle. And as the vibration goes on, potentially this soldering joints could fail. And that would be another failure point of this adapter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you liked it, please remember to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Your participation makes videos like this possible. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.